nothing like it. All these years of traveling and trading throughout the kingdom, nothing comes close to the Whisperwind Elderflower Ale. Mm, so good. Just never gets old, does it? Hello there. Now there is a face that I was hoping to see in this place. Good to see you again. Did you know you have become one of my favorite customers? Yes, that's right. A trade with you is, well, it's never boring, is it? I never quite know what sort of wares may touch your fancy or what you may have to show me it keeps me guessing not many people can do that anymore i've been around for well many 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 years let's just say that so when i find a particular customer who Keeps this old wandering peddler guessing. Something special. Mm -hmm. Ah, Rhea, dear, another. Yes, thank you. All right, so uh, did you come by to see what sort of wares I had to offer this time around? Well, that's good. I would have been offended if you had said no. Well, is there um, anything particular that I can interest you in this time? You see, I have quite a few new things that I've picked up since our previous conversations. I've recently started trading in crystals. Yes, quite fascinating stones, crystals. Not only are they quite lovely, but they also have medicinal, healing, soothing properties. Some crystals can calm an anxious mind. Some can help you focus on a particular task. Others offer protection from oh, negative energies or something like that. They are quite interesting. This one is amethyst. You can see all those beautiful points in there, in this lovely amethyst cluster. Now, amethyst is a crystal of the mind. Yes, associated with clear, calm thought. It's a very powerful, very useful stone. No, you don't want crystals today. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Got quite a few other things here that might interest you. Well, how are you on weapons? A strange traveler like yourself certainly needs to be properly armed, right? Oh, you're good for now. Mm. All right, if you insist. I mean, depending on where you're traveling to, doesn't hurt to have extra weapons around, you know. You're think you're thinking of going to Napwin. Now that is very curious. Napwin is a a dwarven town. It has been many, many years since uh, dwarves have let just anyone into their precious mining towns. Especially in the last 150 years or so after the great separation and all of that, they've become quite isolated. Yes. In fact, there's only a select few people who are not dwarves who are welcomed into a dwarven city. Yes, that's right. 
Well, you know old Zat very well, don't you? I do happen to be one of them. Yes. You see, it's a very, very long story involving the son of a dwarven chieftain and quite a lot of ale. Anyway, I, um, uh, in order to get into the city of Naplin, you have to possess something like this. This is a dwarven crest. It has the crest of one of the clans that lives in Napwin currently. Crafted right in the city. Only given out by a chieftain or chieftess and their immediate family, really. But with this, you can come and go as you please. As long as you adhere to the customs of the city. Quite a lot of customs, really. Yes. I wouldn't bore you with the details, but it took it took a bit of study before I could come and go from the city without causing a scene. <laughs> Much to that chieftain's chagrin. Oh well. The sun was it was fun. Whoa, it, oh. Well, he's been dead for quite a while now, I'm sure. Yes. You know, it's unfortunate being a race that lives so long. You tend to see people coming and going very often. What? Well, yes, of course we gnomes have incredibly long lifespans. Did you not know? <sighs> the common folk are so misinformed about gnomes these days. Unfortunately, after the whole debacle with the Blightthorn incident and a gnome being framed for that, it's, um, well... We tend to not have the greatest welcome when we go places. Unless it's some way we were already known. No, no, no. Dwarves have a, um, they have a decently long lifespan. Elves have an even longer lifespan. But both of their lifespans pale in comparison to a no. I bet you didn't know that, did you? No, of course not. You see, it's funny. We gnomes are um, quite a bit smaller than some of you other races. So to you, we may perhaps look like children. But of course, I'm so old that to me, everyone else feels like a child. Sort of a conundrum. <laughs> yes. Ain't that just the way? Anyway, yes, so I, I'm sure that, that that chieftain has long since passed. Perhaps the son is still alive. Hmm. Truthfully, I haven't been to Napwin in mm, quite some time. You see, the, the chieftain's son was... Um, he was promised to another chieftain's daughter, and uh, they didn't particularly like, well, me. Let's just leave it at that. Like I said, it's a very long and complicated story. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bore you with the details. No, 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 no. No, I would not bore you with the details. Anyway, yes. You're not going to get into Napwood without something like this, so really I wouldn't even bother traveling there. There's, there's really no use to it. <laughs> you would like to trade for this. Did you not just hear my story about how rare and priceless these are? How, how lucky I am as a peddler to be able to even enter a dwarven city with this crest. No, 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 no. There is simply nothing that you could offer me that I would uh, let you have this for. 
You just want to borrow it. <sighs> I mean, I haven't used it in quite a while. You would give it back to me. I mean, you, you would have to still trade something quite valuable for uh, collateral, you see. Actually, maybe not even collateral. Maybe I would just keep whatever you trade me because it would be quite quite a bargain for you and um, quite a risk that I'm taking that you're going to return it to me. Yes, I know I said that you're one of my favorite customers, but that does not mean that... I am not cautious. You see, one of the reasons that gnomes live for so long is because we are cautious. Just saying. Well, if you thought that you had something that might interest me, I, I suppose that I would, I would... I would be willing to think about lending it to you. Why exactly do you want to go to Napwin in the first place? You're looking for something. Mm. Well, if, if, it, if it's dwarven-made things that you're looking for, you know you can always come to me. I do have some interesting dwarven-type things here. This dagger, for instance. I know you said that you're good on weapons, but this one. As it was made by a dwarf, it will never dull. The blade will never ever chip or bend or warp or anything. It will remain as sharp as the day it was sharpened for a lifetime. Yes. It's got all of these different sharpened edges on it as well, so no matter how you thrust or slice with it, it will always hit its target. Did something like that interest you? Oh, you're not going there for just anything. What, pray tell, is this fascinating item that you might be looking for? You can't say. Well, that's incredibly frustrating. If you can't say, then perhaps I can't do a trade with you. Right, fine. Why don't you show me this fascinating item that you would like to offer in collateral for my crest, and we'll see if it's, uh, if it's even worth entertaining the thought. could these be? Two identical little rings. Beautifully carved, to be sure. They definitely have some sort of a, an aura about them, don't they? Interesting. You know I love a good ancient magical item. They are rather small, although are these the type of rings that, oh, they do, they uh, grow or shrink to fit the person who's wearing them. Fascinating. The matching set. Are they, no, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me. You know, I like to guess at these sorts of things. You know, I've seen something like these rings very long ago. Something the elves used to make. They were supposed to uh, give comfort to two different people who had to be separated by distance. Whether it was two lovers or two, you know, a, a parent and a child or just two very close friends. Whoever is wearing these rings, as long as they are both worn, the other person can 
do a, a location spell and um, always see where the other person is. And sometimes people wearing these rings would, uh, they would report that they could sense the, the well-being of the person too, even without any sorts of spells, you know. They, they could feel if they were in danger or feel if they were safe. Yes. Although sometimes it backfired if the person was in peril all the time and then a poor mother would be home worried sick about her child and what on earth they were doing traipsing around the kingdom. <laughs> but they do certainly have their uses. Hmm. It's been quite a while since I've seen rings like these. Quite a while. Where, well, pray tell, did a strange traveler such as yourself get something such as this? Oh, you just picked them up somewhere, did you? A likely story. Mm hmm. Well, those are. Very interesting, aren't they? Could think of a few people who may be interested in such fascinating items. Hmm. That's been quite some time. Although perhaps I should travel back to that point, honestly. Maybe the, um... All of the drama from the last time I was there would have passed by now. You were determined to try to go to Napwin. Hmm. What type of item is this that you're looking for? If, if, if you can't, if you can't tell me why you're looking for it or exactly what it is, could you tell me at least? something about it but perhaps i could you know go to napwin for you and uh, try to locate it an hourglass i'm fairly certain that you could find an hourglass in other places an hourglass why are you looking for a particular hourglass I think I'm the one asking questions here. No, you... Are you... Are you trying to find the relics? Yes, I know about the relics. Did you not just listen to my whole thing about how gnomes live for so long? Yes, I know about the relics. I'm not supposed to know about the relics, but I know about the relics. Why are you trying to find the Whisperwind relics? Penum would not allow you to unbind the energy of the hollow so easily. Oh, she's helping you. <laughs> well, I'm sure. No, no, really, she is. Mm -hmm. You know, something tells me that uh, she may start out helping you. But... Finding that energy cost Penham her very life. Going to have to be very convincing if you actually are going to seek her aid in unbinding the hollow. So you're searching for one of the relics and you believe that it's in Nabwin. Actually, you know, that, that does... That does sort of make sense, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, if if Penham told you to go to Napwin, then I suppose you'd better go to Napwin, haven't you? Hmm. Well, if you're going to go to Napwin. I would suggest taking some time to uh, learn a bit about dwarven culture before you go. Yes. You see, they, they are a very traditional sort of people. 
they have a certain way that they do things and they will expect you to know that. Yes. They're not quite as free-spirited as the wood elves or singularly minded as humans. They, they work as a unit and they are very intuitive people. Very creative, actually, in many ways. Very, very intelligent. But can tend to be a bit rigid, I suppose. So if I were you, I would, um, I would do my research before just leaving to go on this crazy mission. Do you have any of the other relics thus far? No, this would be the first. Well, perhaps Penham is helping you because she doesn't think that you're going to succeed. Yes, that is definitely a possibility. I'm just, just, just putting that out there. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not, um, nothing personal, I'm sure. Perhaps she thinks that getting to Navlin would be such a difficult task that, um, you won't be able to make it. Or if you do, you won't be able to find the relic. It is a fool's errand, you understand? Tracking down all six of these relics. No, of course I don't know where any of them are. Don't ever ask me again. Okay. <sighs> well, if you're going to Napwin for such an important task... I do think that the price of, of borrowing my crest may have increased just a little. Just, 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 just a little, just... Do, do you happen to have something, perhaps, that you think might, um... sweeten the deal, I suppose? What is that? Now what on earth is this? A beautifully carved little translucent rosebud. But it's it's quite cold to the touch. It looked as though it was made of glass. Which even that would be quite the feat to carve something this delicate out of glass. But it almost feels as though it's more like... No, it couldn't be. It's, it's, not, it's not melting in my hands at all. It's not wet at all. It, it couldn't be ice. Could it? Fascinating. Ice that never melts, you say? Hmm. Now where on earth did you get something that's fascinating? Hmm. A gift from a zephyr. Hmm. A zephyr of the north wind, perhaps. Interesting. I have been around for many, many years. But I've never met a zephyr. I've met quite a few other fascinating spirits and other creatures. Things that some people wouldn't believe even existed. And I've heard tell of Zephyrs, but never gotten the chance to meet one. Fascinating. Quite a useful little trinket too, I would think. Ice that never melts. Could market this as, you know, you could always have a cold beverage, no matter where you go. Just plop it in your beverage, and then when you're done, you take it out, and it's reusable. Very fascinating little bit of magic. I bet it would sell quite well down in the southern regions of the kingdom, and past the southern border of the kingdom. Hmm? Oh, no, it's a... Don't worry about down there. I don't go there very often, and they are um, quite an interesting people, but we, we don't have time for that today, trust me. Although I bet they would be quite 
interested in something like this. The zephyrs that live down there are quite different in temperament than the one that you met, most likely. Fascinating. All right, I'll tell you what. I will take the rose of never melting ice and the set of beacon rings. And for that, you may borrow my crest to get you into Napwin. I will expect this to be returned. Let's be clear. This is this is not something that you may keep forever. I am a peddler by trade. I need to be able to trade things, all right? So you may not keep this, but you may borrow it for a time. Yes, uh, perhaps I will... Which one should I return to you? Mm. Should you return and give me back my crest, I will return the never-melting ice to you, if you would like. Or, or perhaps I could just give you money for it as well. However, the rings are mine. And should you not return this, Let's just say I know my way around this kingdom. There are not many places that you would be able to hide where I could not find you. Okay? Okay. Like I have told you before, I never forget a face. So I know very clearly that this is the face that is borrowing my very, very important crest. Sound good. All right, well, you've given me no reason to not believe that you will return this. All right, the crest is yours for now. I will hold on to these things for now. No, I bet I already have a buyer in mind for these. No, not just Clea. <laughs> Although Clea is often one of my best clients when it comes to interesting magical things. Although she seemed a bit less interested in the, the other magical items that I have here than she normally is this trip. Yeah, she seems a bit more subdued. No bother. At least I always have your patronage to my humble little peddler's set up here, no matter what. Well, I, uh, like I said, I, I would certainly try to do some research into dwarven culture before you leave, but I hope that you enjoy your trip to Napwin. It's quite a marvel, really. An entire city carved out of the mountain, underground. It's quite beautiful in its own way. There are certainly some who would miss the, uh, the sunlight, the, the trees and the wind and things like that from the world above. But it certainly has its wonder. I, uh, I would say that I hope you find what you're looking for, but I'm still not completely convinced that you should. But um, either way, I, I hope that your trip provides you with answers. Let's just say that, eh? Yes. Answers to whatever it is that you may be seeking, whatever it is that is so important about these relics and the hollow and all of that, it is still quite shrouded in mystery, even to someone as old as me. Perhaps you'll be the one to unravel those mysteries, hmm? Perhaps. Just perhaps. 
well, I do believe that there are um, some other customers who are waiting to look at some of my fascinating wares here. So I do, if, if you don't have anything else that you need, I believe I will be bidding you adieu for now. But we will uh, cross paths again, of course, so I can get my crest back. And you never know what you might need next from the old traveling peddler. Hmm? Well, safe travels, traveler. Until next time.